Hey everybody, this is Dave in 6AFV, and uh, I'm going to talk a little bit about a particular characteristic of the CS580 that was a little bit um, maybe poorly explained in the uh, CPS manual, but uh, when, we, when I did the original video, I talked about how the uh, CS580 uh, in the in the in the CPS manual, it says that to receive any group call, which is the normal uh, that's kind of the normal type of call that you have if you're listening to a a talk group as opposed to a private call. If you if you want to receive a group call, you have to put a receive contact into the receive contact field of a particular channel. Now that was also, that information was also given to me by a representative from Connect Systems. And so that's when I did the video, that's what I said. However, I uh, subsequently got a uh, Facebook post from a ham who said that no, you, you don't need to do that. That the, the purpose of the receive contacts is to allow you to put a variety of, of uh, contacts into, into a group. And then when, you, when you're on that particular channel, let's say that you're on the channel for TAC310, that's your, that's your transmit talk group. But while you're on that channel, if you have multiple contacts in your receive contact area, uh, you'll be able to hear any transmission on, in that contact group. So what I thought I would do is set up the radio with that and what i'm going to have i'm going to show you how um we have one zone where all of the channels have nothing in the receive contact group a second zone where all of the channels have a receive contact group that matches the transmit contact group and one additional channel where the receive contact uh field has a has a group of all of the different digital contacts that are in the radio. And we'll see how the radio responds to each of those conditions. So let's sit back and uh, watch the video. Before we show the video of the actual radio operation, I'm going to briefly review the code plug setup that I use for this demonstration. There's two main zones that we're going to use. One is a simplex group where there where the receive contacts has a an entry that corresponds to the transmit contacts and then the other group where the receive contacts has none in it but still has a transmit contact group the only other difference is i've added a another group called all receive contact which has five of the talk groups that we added here in digital contacts and if you go to that channel, it has all the same stuff as far as the repeater setup or the frequency setup. But in receive contacts, I have all receive contact, which means that theoretically, based on the information that I have received recently, if you receive a signal that comes from another radio or a repeater that has any of those uh, talk groups in it, the radio will allow the audio to come through. It will still only transmit on whatever's on the transmit contact side, but you'll still be able to listen to whatever groups, talk groups are in the receive contact side. So when we watch the next video, you're going to see exactly how the radio works with and without entries in the receive contacts group and how that affects the operation. So we'll show that and uh, then we'll continue on with the rest of the uh, the introduction to the enhanced modes. Now we're looking at the radio and I have it on the, um, it's on a simplex channel and I have each of the channels programmed with a specific receive group except for the last channel and that has a receive, I'm sorry, not a receive group, I, I gotta stop saying that, a receive contact and then the last channel has the receive contact is actually a group of digital contacts that includes all the ones that I programmed into this particular code plug. So right now you'll notice it says that it's on the SNARS 
talk group. So I have my uh, other radio. I'm a, I'm going to uh, say something, and we'll see what comes out of the uh, CS580. N6AFE, testing, testing one, two, one two, three. three. Okay, so that works basically just the way you would expect. If we were to go to another talk group, like um, let's go to North America just for fun. Two, three, four. Okay, North America. And six AFE testing, testing one, two, one two, three. two, three. Okay, so that works basically the way that we would expect. Now then, I'm going to go to the last channel. Five, six, seven. Okay, you notice that I call that all RX contact. What that means is that the the transmit contact on this particular channel is SNARS, with, or which is, and again, for those of you who, who came in late, SNARS is the local ham radio club here in the Reno area that I use uh, one of their talk groups for my sample programming. Um, the transmit contact is set on SNARS, but the receive contact points to a group of digital contacts, which includes SNARS, SNARS-2, North America, Nevada, and TAC-310. Okay, so right now, I'm going to go back to SNARS, and I'll transmit. We'll see what happens. N6AFB, testing, testing one, two, one, two, three. three. Okay, so that works the way we expect, but now, just for fun, I'm going to go to, let's see, let me go to Nevada. See what happens. Now remember, the radio is still on the channel that uses the SNARS for the transmit contact. N6AFB, N6 testing, testing. One, one, two, two three. three. So you can see that the radio does in fact receive the groups that are, the, or the receive contacts that are put in that particular receive contact group. I can go to another uh, I can go to another. Here's SNARS 2 just for fun. N6AFB, testing, testing 123. One, okay, so again, it shows that that's the case. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the, um, the zone, and I'm going to change it to one in which there are no receive contacts programmed in. So hang on here just a second. Okay, so now we're on the new zone, no receive contact. So let me go to SNARS here. N6 AFB, testing, testing one, two, three. three. Um, so let's let's go to a different uh, let's go to a different talk group. Yeah. Let's try SNARS two just for fun. N6 AFB, testing, testing one, two, one, two, three. three. And uh, we'll give one more. Let's try uh, North America. Just for fun. Three, four. N6AFV, testing, testing one, one, two, three. Two, three. And uh, obviously, we're not going to be able to do a multi talk group uh, setup because in there, there is nothing programmed into the receive contact. So we're going to do one more thing. I'm going to put it back on the receive contact filled in zone. And we're going to try transmitting from the radio and see if that multiple receive contact uh, group has anything to do with the way that the radio works. So stand by. Okay, so we're back on the all receive contact, and uh, let's see, right now I'm on I'm set on North America on the other radio, so I'll transmit here. N six A F V testing, testing. One, one two three. Two, three. Okay, now I'm going to put the other radio here, and let's see what happens whenever I transmit on this one. N6AFV, testing one, two, three. Well, now you notice that the radio did receive a signal, but it was the wrong talk group because it's expecting to hear North America. Now, if I change this one to SNARS, N6AFV, testing, testing one, two, three. three. Well, now you can see that it works. So the receive, changing the receive talk groups uh, in the receive contact area only affects what you receive. So if you hear someone and they're on a different talk group than what is programmed into your transmit contacts, you'll be able to hear them. You won't be able to transmit to them until you um, change the, excuse me, change the contact group. 
uh, or the transmit contact rather. So in a case like that, um, using what's called the enhanced monitor mode might actually be a better way to go. And the reason why that is, is because in the advanced monitor mode, when you hear a signal from another talk group, you can press a button and it locks in that information so you can immediately talk to the other station. Now that you've seen how to use the receive contacts functions in the CS580, the next videos that I'll be posting talk about what are called the enhanced modes of the CS580, and that's enhanced parameters, enhanced scan, and enhanced monitor. And all three of these add some uh, very useful capabilities to this nice little radio. So subscribe to this channel so that you get updates whenever I add new material. And in the meantime, be safe, have a wonderful day, and we'll see you next time. This is Dave and 6AFE saying 73.